Okay. I'm still laying in bed. And I am not going to get up to do a live stream to do this. So I'm using one of my actual real haunted dolls as my backdrop. So, let me make something super clear, right? It, 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 I'm, I'm so tired of Chris Powers twisting and turning everything. Ever since he decided to make his comeback, everything has just fallen the hell apart. He has created so much chaos with his lies and his fakery and his his bullying. Let's don't forget, guys, this is not about one night where he got drunk on live stream and was a, an asshole, okay? After he was outed, he spent a whole week terrorizing everybody, slagging them off, as he calls it. That's, that's a nice word for what he was doing. Calling people, tearing their looks apart, calling them fat and twats and cunts and horrible things. Um, he attacked truth seekers. He attacked myself and Wayne. He attacked many of you. Mandy, Callie, oh my God, the list goes on, okay? And that was before he got drunk on live stream. He spent that whole week or more, however long, I think it was two weeks maybe, um, going on live stream and throwing a baby fit and, you know, pleading with anybody who would listen that... There was a haunted cabin in the woods. Then, let's be real, listen to his video from last night where he compliments Mark Davies up and down that he was really good friend and had his back and was protecting him and blah, blah, blah. And yes, go look at Chris Spirit Encounters website. Mark Davies is still on there because they're still partnered up. Mark, my words... What I said, you will see. I told you things were going to get way worse. And they are still going to get way worse with him. Before he's said and done, he will have basically dropped a bomb and blown up our little community. And I'm not sure that it can it, ever be repaired. Okay. I have quit live streaming for the public, period, okay? When I said I quit, I'm walking away from live streaming, I got no less than 100 messages, a whole bunch of messages from people that have never chatted but that watched the show every week and there were people in there that said that the shows were the only thing that they look forward to every week there were people who had come to the shows briefly and connected with their loved one and that it it like saved their life because it brought them closure i mean the profound messages that i have been getting made me realize that I had to restructure something so that he, it isn't, uh, I have to restructure things. So let me be clear about what I said versus what he said I said. Even though it's on Sarah's channel, um, I, I said very clearly, I am because I am no longer dealing with the bullshit, which includes the flippy floppy people who sit in chats and say they do not support that fake and that fraud. 
and what he did. Okay. Then you go and you look and they're friends on Facebook. Now, I'm not telling you who you can be friends with. You be friends with Chris all you want. I don't give a shit. Okay. You go watch Chris's streams. I don't give a shit. What I said is, when I do my private live streaming, I am looking to bring into live chat people who are dedicated to the field of actual paranormal, who want to see real experiments, capture real evidence in an intimate small group. And what I said is, I am comprising a list of people who will be able to attend a private live stream. Now, you can still be friends with Chris Powers and you can still watch the video when it uploads. Because after I live stream, it'll cache and you guys won't even know that I'm do doing a live stream because it's going to be private. It's not going to show up that I'm live streaming on my channel. Okay, but once it uploads, you'll have a one hour or a two hour jam packed full video of intense paranormal. These are going to be higher quality shows because the, the chat, the people who do come to chat or that come on Hangout are going to be people who truly support the paranormal field and don't support the bullshit. As an individual, I spend my time, my money, my spiritual gifts to bring things to people. I get to decide now who comes to my private shows. They're private. So what I said, and I stand by this, I will not block or ban anybody. Listen to me. I will not block or ban anybody from, from my Facebook or my YouTube or anything. You can watch my videos. You can comment on my videos. You can do everything you did before. If you are a fan of Spirit Encounter or you are friends with Chris Moon or Power or whatever he goes by these days, Mark Davies, you're, if you are friends with those people, great. All I'm saying is you will not be in my live chats. And you know what? I have the right to do that. I, there are a few people in the field that if other people support, you know, you, you don't come anywhere near me. And I think you guys know who those people are. Okay. Um, don't, yeah, don't, I, I, you know, I am in the field, as a field investigator, okay, I don't have to put up with this bullshit out in the field. And I've decided I don't have to put up with this bullshit when I live stream. So that means that there will be, there might be live streams where I have nobody, where I am staring at the camera doing experiments and it uploads and nobody was ever in that stream live. But the people that want to come to the live streams, I'm going to know where their loyalty lies and how they actually feel about the paranormal. And if you're a flippy flopper or you support someone who is working with a man who threatened people's families who threatened people with physical harm, who lied, faked, frauded, guess what? That is your choice. But I will make the choice to exclude those people from my private live streams. I don't care if I live stream for four people. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, because I don't care about how many live viewers are watching. And I'm about to prove that. I'm about to prove even further how much I care about the field that I'm in. My shows were getting 80, 
90, 100 people watching live. Okay? I busted my ass for the last two years to get to that point. And now, guess what? I'm not. I'm going to do it privately. So what does that say about me? Does that say that I care about the viewers? How many views I get? Nope. Because all those 80, 90, 100 live stream people watching, they don't get to chit chat and have the experience anymore. Thanks to what was done in the field the last couple weeks. But I do believe this restructure is going to bring you guys better videos to watch when they upload. And there are lots of great shows that live stream for people to go chat at that that have that do not care where your affiliation lies. Okay. But for my live stream videos, I do. I'm making the rules and I will stick by them. I'm not doing flippy floppers anymore. I'm not doing, you know, okay, one day people are like, oh, I'm going to delete anyone who has that person off my list, which, you know, by the well, by the way, um, people like, you know, I know some people quite well that said, well, you can come to my show, you know, after Chris did all that, they still openly were like, okay, it, it's all right. You can still come to my stuff. You can still stream with me. You can, whatever. I'm not doing that. I'm taking a stand. That's what I do. I out fake some frauds. I bring real evidence to the table. And I take an ethical stance. Okay. If I do not do that. If Wayne does not do that. That makes us hypocrites. Yes, everyone deserves forgiveness. That man went on live stream last night and lied some more. He has Angela Hula, whatever the hell her name is, making bully groups against Lori and Sarah. Everyone around him that is directly involved are bullies. They are the bullies. Just because we're outing you as a fake and a fraud and whatever does not make us a bully. It makes us people who are telling the truth. Long before Truth Seekers Group ever came about, three years ago, I did the Haunted Doll Mafia videos. That is who I am. Okay, I don't call myself a truth seeker per se. I call myself an authentic paranormal investigator who seeks the truth wherever she goes, whether that be in the paranormal or any place else. I'm a journalist. I have credentials as a journalist. My badges all state I am an internet news journalist. Okay? If someone's a fake and a fraud, you not every one of them, because I'm not going to sit here and focus on that all the time, but if it it directly affects something I love, like, oh, he's going to go and start selling fake haunted dolls. Then I step forward, not only to save you guys from your money, but to not make a mockery out of the actual thing I've been studying for almost coming up on eight years. So I'm sick and tired of the frauds and the fakes. I'm tired of the bullies and I'm tired of flippy flopping. So. I'm going to bring paranormal live streaming and the uploaded videos to a new level. My rules, my choices, stay friends with who you wish. I am not going to block or ban you from my channel or my Facebook or my group, Southern Angels Paranormal, who has 5,700 members strong on Facebook. I'm only saying that if you are one of those very few that are left, just it, you don't, you know, just don't bother to ask to come to a private live stream because 
It's not going to happen. All right. Again, my time, money, spiritual gifts. I get to make those rules. Thanks. Peace out. Have a great day.